Welcome back. Now, the Indian drug regulator Central Drugs Standards Control Organization has declared 53 drugs as not of standard quality after the drugs failed quality test. The list includes many household drugs like Antacid, Pandi, Calcium Supplement, Shellcal, Analgesic and Antipyretic Paracetamol, apart from other calcium and vitamin D3 supplements, anti-diabetes and high blood pressure medicines. Now, the medicines are manufactured by Heterodrugs, Alchem Laboratories, Hindustan Antibiotics Limited, Karnataka Antibiotics and Pharmaceutical Limited, Meg Life Sciences, Pure and Cure Healthcare, among others. Now, the drug regulator shared two lists of drugs that failed quality tests. While the first list contains 48 popular drugs, the second list features five additional drugs along with a reply section from the pharmaceutical companies who failed these tests. Surprisingly, the five pharma companies featured in the second list denied taking responsibility for the drugs and labelled them spurious. The companies have claimed, and I quote, that the actual manufacturer as per label claim has informed that the impugned batch of the product has not been manufactured by them and that it is a spurious drug. The product is purported to be spurious. However, the same is subject to outcome of an investigation. Meanwhile, the opposition has attacked the BJP government over the failed quality test. The Aam Aadmi Party unequivocally questioned whether India will enter 2047 surviving on fake medicines and if education and health will find a place on the national stage. The Congress, on the other hand, called the failed quality test a failure on the part of the Modi government. एक बड़ा खुलासा हुआ है जिसमें कब बताया गया है पैरासिटामॉल पैंडी जैसी कई ऐसी दवाइयां हैं लगभग 50 के करीब ऐसी दवाइयां हैं जिन्होंने जो टेस्ट है क्वालिटी टेस्ट है वो फेल कर गई हैं और बहुत बड़ा एक सेफ्टी कंसर्न भी जो है उससे रेज होता है आपका इस पे क्या कहना है सर भारत सरकार क्या कर दे कब कर दे कैसे कर दे किसी को अंदाजा नहीं पहले वैक्सीन को लेके कई वार्निंग देने के बावजूद जी वैक्सीन लगवा दिए चलते फिरते लोग मर रहे हैं जवान मर रहे हैं कम उम्र के बच्चे मर रहे हैं और अब पैंडी और पैरासिटामॉल पे रोक आई है ये सबसे ज्यादा घरों में इस्तेमाल की जाने वाली दवा है और डॉक्टर्स लिखते हैं तो मैं तो इसे मानता हूं कि ये मोदी सरकार की असफलता है पैसा धोखा धड़ी हो रही है हम आम लोग हैं आम आदमी हैं हम लोग बीमार होते हैं बुखार और कैमिस्ट से पैसा पर मुला खाते हैं कल को हमारी जिंदगी में कुछ बात हो सकती है तो हमारे बच्चों पे तो ये हमारे साथ धोखा धड़ी है तो जी हम तो गरीब आदमी हैं हम तो कमाते हैं इनके लोगों के लिए डॉक्टर हो गया वकील हो गया इनके लोग कमाते हैं क्योंकि चार कमाने वाते हैं छः की दवाई आती है अब उसमें भी ठीक नहीं हो पाते क्या करेंगे गरीब आदमी क्या करेगा सर जैसे कि पी सी एम अभी मेरी बेटी ने खाया तो उसको इन्फेक्शन कर गया बॉडी लाल 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 ला ला हो गया था तो अगर इस ऐसे ही हम लोग मरते रहेंगे मतलब कि गवर्नमेंट की को पास कर दी इन दवाइयों को इस सरकार को नकेल कसनी चाहिए जो बड़ी बड़ी संस्था हैं बड़े बड़े मेडिकल कॉलेज हैं उनसे पास होती है तो ये सरकार के हाथ में इस, इस सरकार ने धांधेबाजी कर रखी है दवाइयाँ खाने से तो देखो ये क्या हो गया और एलर्जी हो गई और पूरा मेरे चेहरा बेकार हो गया और वो कहते हैं मोदी की वो खुली हुई है वहाँ मनीर के में तो बोलते हैं उसमें डिस्काउंट पे दवाई देंगे कोई डिस्काउंट पे दवाई नहीं है सब बेकार का झूठा धांधला है और दवाई तो नकली पाई गई है नकली तो है जब भी तो और दूसरी और बीमारी होगी बुखार के चक्कर में खाई थी एलर्जी हो गई पूरे शरीर में रोजमर्रा में दवाई इस्तेमाल करते है ना तो बॉडी में आराम होता है और ज्यादा बुखार चढ़ गया और पैरों में दर्द और इतना दर्द होता है की घुटनों में भी दर्द होने लगा उससे and to discuss this further, I'm joined by our esteemed panel of guests this afternoon. I'm joined by Dr. J. A. Jayalal, who is the former national president, IMA. I'm also joined by Dr. Ishwar Gilada, who is uh, for, from the Infectious Disease Expert and Secretary General, Organized Medic uh, Medicine Academy Guild, OMAG. 
Rajiv Bharadwaj, who's a public servant and citizens' rights activist. Good afternoon to all of you. Thank you for taking our time and joining us over here. But those viewers who are watching us right now and who are concerned about the drugs that they are consuming, our call-in lines are flashing on your screens right now. Do call us in and share your concerns with us. But right now, my first question would go across to you, Mr. Rajiv Bharadwaj. How do you look at this report? It's absolutely <laughs> shocking when the drugs have failed the drug test itself. Should there not be a regulatory body to ensure that even before these drugs enter the market, before they are dispatched and before they are prescribed by the doctors, it goes through a quality test to ascertain whether it's going to do its job as a medicine or not? Why is there a belated reaction on the part of the government to test it once it's been consumed by several people at large? Yeah, good afternoon, Samara. This is a very disturbing <coughs> information, but uh, there is already a regulator in place. The first of all, we should appreciate as a citizen, I can only appreciate this pharmaceutical is an industry and a lot of businessmen is involved in this. Now, if the, if the, if the manufacturer itself is now disowning the, it, it and telling it it is a police drug, then it, 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 some criminal offenses being taken uh, taking place in the society. Now there are multiple agencies, and because of this multiple agencies, uh, such type of criminals they take advantage of all these things. There is a very big saying that pharmaceuticals they deal, deal uh, do business with disease, and uh, that is why when they do this business with disease, it, uh, it is the largest. It gives the largest a scope of deception and fraud business in the human history. So there is, a uh, there is a big space for committing deception and fraud. Therefore, we, we require a very stringent, very smart, and very agile regulator for this. And it is not that the government has failed. It is the government agency which has checked it and, uh, and raised the flag. Now, beyond that, the expectation of but the Mr. citizen Bharat, is beyond my that. My only question was that, of course, the regulator body has checked it and now, of course, they have released this particular report. But is this too belated? Let me take that question across to Mr. Jayalal over also over here, Dr. Jayalal. Uh, you know what Mr. Bharadwaj was saying? That, yes, there is a regulatory body. But, you know, scores of people who have implicit faith in the medical fraternity, in the medical system, when they're coming to a hospital, it's not the patient who will be having any doubt in their mind. Is that the medicine that has been prescribed by the doctor that they are getting off the counter is going to have an adverse effect on them? Uh, where is the missing link over here? Where can there be a due quality check to ensure that the medicines that is supposed to do their job is the only medicine that is reaching the patients. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. This is, a, but it is not a shocking news because this is not the first time we are hearing this. This is happening continuously in our country and we are failing miserably in this condition. A huge market of these furious drugs or these altered drugs are coming out and serving the society. So the problem now on how we are going to monitor, it is only the failure on the governance whether it is a government, whether it's the CDSCO, they are not doing it properly. See, even a, a small letter in the post office, if I am putting a letter in a, for a registered post or a, some post, I can trace that letter, where, whether it is reaching on time. If I am booking a parcel, I can trace it because we have a mechanism like that. But we do not have a mechanism from the companies so manufacture to the door of a patient, how this drug is going on, is there is any other drug is coming in, whether there is a spurious drugs are coming in, we don't have a mechanism. Second, the administrative or the council is there, the regulators are there. It is highly underqualified, under undermanned. Each district, we have a drug controller. It is hardly one or two drug controllers there. But thousands of markets, thousands of shops are there. How this manpower with this existing system, this regulator can control on that? So there is a total failure on the governance. And if you are not doing that, it is not for a one person, it is going to have a harm. In total, the WHO and everybody is now warming, warning the government, unless you are going to have a control on this, the drug resistant, which is going to rise, is going to kill us. In front of our own eyes, our own people are going to die because these drugs are not going to out. So the few things this include, one is the manufacturing to the doorstep, we should have a monitoring, we should have the control of the regulatory system, we should make sure and who is going to write these drugs, whether these drugs are going to be available in the petty shops, Without prescription, there are thousands of shops are giving you open sales, these drugs, even the drugs which are being pounded, anti-hypertensive, anti-diabetic, 
you can go to the any petty shop and buy this drug there is no control it is not on the based on the prescription nowhere other countries this is possible but only in india because the open counter sales has been increased so unless go governance come into effect control for the manufacturer to the doorstep formulate it only who is going to prescribe and who is going to dispense it has to be have a control and then only that we will have some impact on that otherwise it is not only that the harm is going to be happen on the person who is taking but overall for the whole of india that we are going to be in a, a drug resistant uh, condition which is going to be a very disastrous one Absolutely, Dr. Ishwar Gilada is also with us. So, Dr. Gilada, you've just heard what your fellow pan panelist had to say. Uh, take us through what are the adverse impacts that these spurious drugs and possibly have on a layman. Uh, of course, they must be getting these over-the-counter medicines like a pantacid, a pandy, or a paracetamol, and they are unaware about the far-reaching damage or the adverse impact it may have on their health. Dr. Gilada, if you could like put things into perspective for us and tell us uh, what could be the adverse impact of these medications. See, while agreeing with Mr. Bharadwaj and Dr. Jayalal, I would like to tell one thing that I am shocked. Maybe Dr. Jalal is not shocked. I'm shocked because of three things. Number one, the names of big pharma companies are involved. Usually, whenever we find spurious drugs, they are from some unknown companies. Secondly, very popular brands, very popular medicines, very popular contents, they are involved where everyone takes those medicines. And number three, we are at a crossroad where India is a pharma capital of the world. India is part of uh, uh, India has shared G20. India would like to be part of the G7 becoming G8. At such a opportune time, if such things are happening, they are not acceptable. Now, at, at doc, Dr. Jalal said very good thing that at every district level, there's only one uh, drug inspector. He's not a drug inspector. He's a FDA inspector. That is food and drug inspector. Their major time is consuming food because there's adulteration in all the food, adulteration in milk, in adulteration in everything. So when CDSO makes some rules and guidelines, if they are to be implemented by the states, the states should be very strong. And secondly, we should take, act with iron hand. If we find something wrong is happening, they should be punished. There are three things involved here. Number one, when you say drug is not of quality, there can be more than 5-4% impurity. Up to 4% impurity is accepted. Beyond 4% is not accepted. Number two, there can be spurious medicine inside that. So medicine is labeled as A, something uh, which is contained as B not acceptable. And number three, if somebody, some companies are saying that the medicine, though label is of our company, it is not done by us. That is very serious that anybody can manufacture in any company's name. How can you accept this? You know, in even in HIV field, what has happened? Just recently, one company which was unknown anywhere, they, they are located in some garage. They, have, they, got, they, they got a contract of 900 crore rupees from government. So how can you give a contract to some uh, people who are not of any quality? So you just, in government, look at uh, lowest of the uh, cost. You don't look at whether uh, quality is taken care of or not. So we should look at the highest quality. In that quality, then you take lowest of the cost. You cannot have lowest quality and lowest cost. So I think okay. this is a very serious matter. It is eye-opener. We should act very, very much with iron hand. Government of India, for the first time, has a minister who is absolutely. in charge of Absolutely. Dr. Uh, Gilada, uh, what you've just mentioned right now is absolutely appalling. And hold that thought, Mr. Gilada. I will come back to you as we also have some uh, callers calling us in right now. Our call-in lines are flashing on your screens right now. And we have Amitab Ghosh, a caller, calling us in from Kolkata. Good afternoon, Mr. Ghosh. Please go ahead and share your views. Uh, hello. Hello. Yes, Mr. Ghosh, I can hear Hello. you. Please go ahead. Actually, actually, uh, uh, my missus is taking one diabetic uh, medicine that is uh, Istamid 50 by 500. Uh, is that okay? Is it few, uh, sp spurious drugs? <laughs> And another, uh, hello. Yeah, no, and another well, uh, we may not be able to specifically tell you about a particular drug, Mr. Ghosh, uh, but we get your concern. This is exactly how parents, people at large and elderly are worried after this report that came out that how there are these large scale medicines that have now a huge question mark on the quality check, the effectability of it, whether they are going to have their due impact on you or not. You are, of course, 
trusting the doctors, the pharma company. You are taking these medicines, hoping that you're going to be cured. You're going to get some relief against the ailment that you're faced with. But Mr. Bharadwaj, you've heard what Mr. Uh, Dr. Jailal and Dr. Gilada were saying, that when it comes to trying to plug the missing link, that the lowest common denominator is where accountability should be fixed. When the district level has only gotten one food and drug inspector, what hope can we possibly have about uh, having these due checks being done? And in the process, it's the people who suffer. My other fellow panelists are technical. They, are, they have expressed their technical views. As a consumer, as a citizen, as a patient, I, I can only trust the system which is in place. Now the question is, once this thing has been disclosed, it has been brought into public domain by none other than by the regulators themselves, that the drugs which, which they have tested is, is not at par. And now the company which owns those drugs, they have said it is not owned by them, it is a spurious drug. Now, what do the citizen do? How the, how the system is going to give confidence to the citizen? So here is the role of pharmacist, the shop uh, which is selling the medicine. That is also uh, uh, falls under the regulator. They also have a pharmacist, uh, what you call oath or uh, code of conduct. So here, it, there is a complete lack of modesty, lack of morality, and degradation in the society. No, we agree with you, Mr. Bharadwaj. It's not just the pharmaceutical companies, but even those uh, chemist shops that are spell, uh, selling these yes, spurious drugs exactly. ought to be held accountable. Uh, hold yep. that thought. We also have another caller calling us in from Raipur. Rupali Verma is calling us. Good afternoon, Ms. Verma. Please go ahead and share your views. Yeah, madam, I just wanted you to know that uh, many quacks are working and they want to buy these medicines in very less price. How they get provided with all those medicines which are at a more uh, price at uh, other uh, other um, uh, counters and they are giving and selling those medicines at a very less price. Also, the sometimes it is very open, it is in a puriya or something and they give it to the patient. The quality is not checked anywhere. And the local authorities are not very keen in stopping this uh, uh, quackery and this selling of these medicines in a very less price. Okay, we get your point, Ms. Verma. And for all our viewers who are watching us right now, please call us in and share your concerns because this affects each one of us. These are the medicines that you and I consume and it may be the medicines that are from these batch that has been tested and hasn't really cleared the quality test. Dr. Jalal, you heard what uh, Ms. Rupali was uh, saying right now, that how are these uh, medicines being sold in a cheaper price when they are uh, usually when the MRP is seen, that's an expensive medicine, sold at a subsidized rate. Is that a red flag? Should that be a concern where people should be careful about? Yeah, absolutely. She has very clearly set up the two important things. As two, one is one profession in the whole India, everyone, every citizen practice is a medical profession. You ask anybody, they will give some drug for you. That is kind of thing which are going on. And without proper prescription by a qualified doctor, the sale of the drug should be banned in anywhere in place. Second, you have even if a ciproplox or you, you take any drug, we take common drug. As one end, it is 100% cost and another okay, end, we are getting... Okay, uh, Mr. Jalal, I will have to interject over there. We have another caller calling us in and I will come back to you for you to complete your point. Yeah, Doctor, uh, Mr. Ramesh is calling us in from Bengaluru. Mr. Ramesh, good afternoon. Please go ahead and share your views. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm just concerned. Why are we not flashing the names of the drugs? I can see three names flashing by Pandy and a couple of others. But why don't we name it and also why don't we um, publish it in your website so that you know, I can really stop it and talk to my doctor to give me an alternative drug? No, we do have uh, graphics that are carrying the names of these uh, drugs, Mr. Ramesh. But thank you for uh, 
Uh, once again, raising this concern, I'll request our producer to put those uh, names with the graphics on air right now. There you can see it. Clavama 625 and Pandy Calcium 500 mg and Vitamin D3. These are the specific drugs that we have uh, listed out which are more commonly used than the other rare medications given because these are the medicines like metformin on your screens right now are the medicines that are uh, used by a larger population. And of course, these are also available online um, on their websites as well. But we are going to be putting out more names across. Thank you, Mr. Ramesh, for calling us in. We have another caller calling us in right now. Dr. S.N. Mishra is calling us from Gurugram. Mr. Mishra, good afternoon. Please go ahead and share your views. Yeah, good afternoon. Thank you so much for the uh, for the opportunity. I was a little appalled by the comment that came from Dr. Jayala that this has been happening and I'm not surprised. If a doctor says this, what more uh, appalling can this be? There are two issues out here. One is the spurious medicines are being pushed into the market, whether it's the company which is manufacturing substandard or the company medicines are being replaced by these uh, spurious companies. We have no regulation of the over-the-counter sale of um, drugs over in the chemists. So chemists obviously will take those spurious for a cheaper rate and sell it to the uh, non-suspecting customer. So ultimately, the regulation needs to be not only at the manufacturing company, but also at the distribution company where the pharmacy companies or the pharmacists needs to be regulated. Very important point over there, Dr. S. N. Mishra. Thank you for taking your time and calling us over here at Gurugram. Before I wrap this conversation, I will come to you, Dr. Jailal, for your final comments because uh, Dr. Mishra has taken offense to the fact that you mentioned that this has been going on for a while. And perhaps if it has been going on for a while, it's about time the government wakes up, smells the coffee, and ensure that it is not repeated. Whether it's at the distribution level, at the chemist level, or at the pharmaceutical level, due diligence to carry out quality check at an approved appropriate time needs to be done by the administration. Yes, of course, it is many times it is happening, especially even during the COVID time, the remdesivir, there is a net, in tons and tons of remdesivir are spuriously produced and a lot of drugs were come. And few of the companies drug paracetamol and the drugs which have been exported has caused death and a lot of voice was raised on that. And every day, Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Kajrat, we are getting reports of the conspiration of these uh, drugs, spurious drugs. So this is going on because we were talking about the right. governance information has to be take place. And only one point I just want to say because the list what has come Absolutely. is a generic name. Generic name. It says paracetamol. There's a thousands of paracetamol brand name is there. That the, the, the member was asking on that. The brand name of the drug should be there and what company's drug is now found to be Yes, wrong. absolutely. I will have to interject you, Dr. Jailal, over there. I have paucity of time. I will have to wrap this conversation. But thank you, uh, Dr. Jailal, Dr. Gilada, and Mr. Ra uh, Rajiv Bharadwaj for taking our time and making your uh, very, very important inputs over there. India, that prides itself to being the pharma capital of the country. It's absolutely tragic and shocking that we are putting out this report over here. But Mirror now will be keeping a close track of all the story and will be sharing with you all the details on it.